Hey there, freaks and geeks. Welcome to another episode of Geek Out for a Minute. We are coming at you here from the Kingdom of Bahrain. I'm your host, Rocky Rees, and today we're going to go over the Titans. Let's cue that music. <laughs> All right, so the Titans is going to be the flagship for DC Universe's streaming service. So just like everyone else is doing their own streaming services, so is DC. So their flagship is going to be the Titans, which is, if you guys watch any of the cartoons, you know, you guys know that there's Teen Titans, and then there's the Titans. You know, the Titans obviously when they're older, and the other ones, they made it for kids. <clears throat> then they have the Teen Titans Go, uh, which is the one that every kid's watching right now on Cartoon Network. But this is them as grown-ups, you know, well, some of them, right? Okay, so let's start this off. So Titans is going to have 13 episodes. It's going to be exclusively on the streaming service for DC. And I'll get more into their streaming services a little bit later. So, shows, Titans, Swamp Thing, Harlequin, and Doom Patrol. Um, so the Titans is going to have 13 episodes, okay? Now, this, the creators of this particular TV show is Greg Berlanti, you know, and Berlanti has done all the, like, Arrow, they've done um, the, the Flash, they have done the Supergirl, they have done the um, Legends of Tomorrow, um, so th things like that. Uh, all the TV shows that are on the CW, that's what they've, who he's been involved with. And then you have Akiva Goldsman and Jeff Johns, and everybody knows who Jeff Johns is, at least in the comic book community. Um, so let me get to that a little bit later. So these guys are the creators of the show. So far, the cast, okay, this is, uh, this is a weird cast here, okay, so just bear with me here. Okay, so you have Brenton Twaits, I, I don't know how to pronounce his last name, so I'm sorry if I'm butchering it for you, uh, who's going to play Dick Grayson slash Robin slash Nightwing. So in none of the commercial, well, at least in the trailer that we saw, is he Nightwing in this one? It looks like he's just Robin. <clears throat> uh, this Now, the actor here, he has been in stuff like Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man Tells No Tales, which for me is not a good resume. Um, although, as Robin, he does look really good. So, hopefully, we'll see a better performance out of him. <clears throat> and then we have Tegan Groft, which is playing Raven. Or is it Tegan Groft or Croft? It could be either or, okay? But uh, she's playing Ra Raven. She's only done like three parts. She's a relatively young actress, okay? Uh, so let's move on down to Lindsay Gort, who's playing uh, Amy Rohrbach, and she's, one, she's gonna play a detective in the show. Uh, now, you also have Minka Kelly, who's gonna play Don Granger slash Dove. So in this one, you do have Dove and Hawk, okay? I'm gonna get into that a little bit later as well. Uh, you have Ryan Potter playing Beast Boy. And Ryan Potter, uh, the only thing I really know him for is doing the voice of Hero in uh, Big Hero 6. So uh, he was a main character in that one as a voice actor. So um, in here, I haven't seen him do anything else. Uh, then you have Alan Richson who plays Hawk, Hank Hall or Hawk from Hawk and Dove. And uh, this guy, you've seen him before. Now, he's he does the voice, and I, I think probably the whole movement's also for Raphael and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the new one. And he also played Aquaman in Smallville. Okay, And some of you guys know him as Thad from Blue Mountain State. <laughs> so he can, uh, he can definitely juggle uh, dramatic roles and a little bit more. Uh, he's really good on delivery as far as comedy goes. Um, I don't take it there's going to be too much comedy in this one. It, it looked really dark, and, and it looks like they want their, their tone to be a little bit more serious. You're also going to have, there's these other characters that I didn't recognize uh, when I was looking up the IMDb. So you got April Bowlby, who's going to play Elastigirl. You have Jake Michaels, who's going to play Cliff Steele slash Robot Man. And then you have Dwayne Murphy, who's going to play Negative Man. Okay, now, they're in this TV show, but... They're also known, when I did my research, they're known for being in Doom Patrol, which is the other 
series that they're going to have on the DC Universe uh, streaming service. So, uh, as far as Doom Patrol goes, I've never read any one of these comics, okay? I've never read them. Um, I'm curious to see them because they look interesting. It looks like a very grounded, a more grounded um, comic, but like I said, I have to read them. I have them read them myself. And, of course, you have the villain who's going to be a guy named uh, Jareth J. Mers, who's going to play the villain. And is the name of the villain is called the Acolyte. Uh, the Acolyte is more like a lower-level um, villain uh, that I've never heard of. I've never heard of. If you guys have heard of him, maybe got some information on it, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, but that is so far the cast, Okay. Now, the other one that I wanted to talk about, and this is because it's become like a huge controversy, and I'll get into that, the controversy in a second, but let me talk about Anna Diop. And Anna Diop is, uh, she has been in a lot of TV shows. She, um, when I looked up her resume, um, she has a long resume. I mean, from um, like Bosch, 24 Legacy, and Quantico, and so forth and so on. I mean, she's got a long list. So she's a seasoned actress, and she's got plenty of experience. So Anna Diop is going to play Starfire. Okay, now the reason why this has become a controversy is because Anna Diop is black. Anna Diop is black, and she's playing Starfire. They released some photos, some leaked photos, and then of course in at Comic Con they released the the trailer for the Titans. So as of recently, she has been had a lot of backlash from comic book fans. Well, I don't know if you would kind of call them comic book fans because we don't know if they really are comic book fans or not. However, um, on her Instagram and her social media, she's had to shut down comments because she's being attacked with racial remarks. Now, this isn't anything that's new. I mean, this is something that even happened to um, Michael B. Jordan when he played um, Johnny Storm in Fantastic Four. He suffered through that a bit. And on one of his interviews, he said, the backlash is understandable because... You know, this is, I, they're not used to seeing their characters be changed when, you know, it's a childhood uh, character, such as Johnny Storm. Johnny Storm originally is white. Now, regardless of how great Michael B. Jordan, you know, took this approach, is it, it still doesn't change the fact that he shouldn't be met with racial slurs on his social media or getting a backlash and having a situation where it's because of the color of his skin. Um, you should be purely met on the merits of acting. And let's face it, Michael B. Jordan has proved time and time again that he's a really good actor. And I wouldn't be surprised if in the near future that Michael B. Jordan is met with Oscar caliber acting capabilities. So, <clears throat> now, the whole thing with Anna Diop... I, I, all the stuff that I mentioned, right, even though she's got a big resume, none of these are shows that I've seen. So I can't tell you if she's a good actress or not. Um, but what I can say, she's getting plenty of work, okay? So I'm, I'm going to assume she is, okay? So based on what I'm seeing on this, on the leaked footage and the trailer, I hate the way Starfire looks. Well, I hate the way all of them look with the exception of of Hawk and Dove and Robin. They, those three look amazing. Beast Boy looks like dog shit. Pardon the pun. Raven looks like crap. And I'm not. it's not about the actors and it's not about the actors, okay? I'm not saying that about the actors themselves. I'm just saying how, they're, how their visual is portraying, portraying that character. It's crap. It looks like crap. Beast Boy has frosted green tips... On his hair, right? And all of a sudden, that's the way he is. And all you have is basically his jacket, the black and white, I'm sorry, the red and white, the, you know, kind of like the costume that he has in the Titans. To determine the fact that he's Beast Boy. It's green hair. It, and it, it's, it's stupid. It's so stupid. And then, of course, you have Raven. And Raven is probably one more that I give more of a pass on. Because, you know, you just see her in regular clothes. And you can, you know, she's trying to blend into the world. I can see that. Starfire, who they have her looking like an 80s Hollywood hooker. And look, it, it, I'm not attacking the actress, okay? What I'm attacking is the costume developers, okay? Now, 
Starfire is supposed supposed to be a very sultry, very sexualized character. However, there's a way for them to do it without making her look like a hooker on Hollywood. Okay, and the outfit that they have, it's not flattering to the actress, okay? Now, I want to show you a picture here, and this is what she looks like, okay? She's hot. She's very good looking. And they put her in this outfit. Let me show you this one. And that doesn't look flattering to her at all. At all. That wig looks fake as hell. And look at her in her picture. Her hair looks perfectly fine. All you had to do is make it red. All you had to do is put her in a hot outfit. And it's just, it's mind boggling. And look, and just to show you guys what I'm talking about and what's frustrating for me, let me show you what a fan did with a picture of her, okay? Now, she's got the orange skin, she's got, you know, the colored eyes, and she's got the red hair, okay? Easily could have been done. This is something that easily could have been done, but they didn't. Okay, and this is the problem that I have with all three characters, okay? Is that when you see Raven, whether it's on the shows, whether it's on the comics and all that, you see Raven with a color, her skin tone is bluish. You see Beast Boy with his skin tone being green. And then you see Starfire with her skin tone being orange, okay? These are effects that they could have easily done either effects or practical makeup that they could have done and it would have made it look a hundred times better. Instead of having frosted tips, it could have just been green hair and a green color of his skin and you would have had a fantastic looking Beast Boy. You know, you could have had Raven with her skin tone blue and you would have had a fantastic looking Raven or just make her pale as hell, right? And, and, the, and the actress is, is of white skin. Okay, now the other one that where it gets into the controversy is when we get to talking about Starfire. And Starfire, well, she's black. And I know that some people would be like, "Oh, it's you're just trying to cover her from being black." No, I'm trying to make her look like Starfire. Okay, you want her to look like Starfire. And look, I don't care that she's a black actress. I don't care that she's a white actress. I don't care what color of skin this actress is. I want her to look like Starfire in the comics, like the way she does in the TV shows and all that stuff, okay? Now, the fact that she's black doesn't change anything. You can apply the orange makeup, and this, this actress is hot. And nothing that you guys put on her is flattering. And when I say you guys, I mean the producers, the designers. That wig looks atrocious. It obviously looks fake, okay? And it's got that pinkish color, and it's just awful god awful her outfit is terrible now is it possible that they'll change these outfits sure is it possible that they'll explain themselves like say hey beast boy has a technology and puts his stuff makeup on so that he looks normal out there and that's what you're seeing or raven is able to mask herself because she's in the mystic arts or you know same thing with um starfire oh she's able to mask herself you know by not having, by not looking orange when she's walking around, you know, the streets. Pardon the pun. Um, and that is possibility. But based on what we're seeing, what it looks like to me is just laziness. It's just lazy. It, I mean, it looks god awful. You, you, you spent a huge amount of time making Robin, and who looks amazing. You spent a huge amount of time making Hawk and Dove, and then you did a poor job doing those three okay now let me get back to the racism here okay first of all racism is fucking stupid okay now i've talked about before having to change the way i present the show uh meaning saying bad words and stuff like that and i've been wanting to change that however the problem here is it's just it just kind of frustrates me because it paints the comic book readers in a bad light. Um, one of the things is that the fandom that we have for comic books or for things such as Star Wars and all that, there's been a lot of toxicity within this community. And look, I understand that you're passionate. I understand this is your childhood stuff. Me too. 
I get it. And it does frustrate me when I see people painting them in a wrong light or putting these characters and making them shitty, being lazy about it, okay? And that's what I saw with those three characters. Now, this has nothing to do with the actors, okay? Um, as far as uh, Ryan Potter, has nothing to do with him. has nothing to do with Tegan Croft or, or Groft. I don't know if I'm... I, I probably did a typo on my notes, so I'm sorry about that. Um, or Anna Diop. I mean, they could be talented actors, okay? But this, this, this trailer's not showing that. It's just showing them very vaguely. All three of those were vague. Well, two of them were very vague. The other one was very Raven and Robin centric. So, and I'm going to say the stuff that I saw with Raven, eh, it, it seemed okay. But I got to see context. I got to see like where it led up to that. And that's how we're really going to know. Okay. But the problem is here is that these actors and actresses shouldn't be met with this type of, of scrutiny. The show Titans looks like a piece of garbage because of Greg Berlanti and because of Jeff Johns. Okay, that has nothing to do with Anna Diop. That that has nothing to do with her, but it has to do with the laziness on how they approach these characters. And I and that by that I'm saying Greg Berlanti and Jeff Johns. And you know I guess you could put Akiva Golds Goldsman there, but she's just a creator of the show. Jeff Johns has a lot of say so. So does Greg Berlanti. They have a lot of say so. They could have done this better, and they did not. This is not how should we should perform ourselves. You know if they suck, they suck. Now, I've made plenty of comments, okay, on other actors before because they did a performance to a character that I loved and I talked major smack about them, okay? On my social media, I'm not hounding them. It's a completely different issue. I could understand if you're frustrated. So if you're frustrated, express your frustration. You can say, I don't like how it looks. Hell, there's nothing wrong with you saying, hey, I just don't think she looks like Starfire. Why is she black? Why can she not be orange? That would be a better argument than you having a problem with her just because she's black. That has nothing to fucking do with it. She's an actress. Her job is to act. That's it. So, you know, with all this said, I mean, this is a really bad situation. And you know what? It makes all of us in the fandom community as fans, as movie fans, as comic book fans, all look bad. It looks as look, makes us look bad. You mean you have her having to shut down her, you know, her social media because you guys won't leave her alone, you know? And, and you know, it, it's it's hard for me to even say even even more stuff about this because it's just terrible. Okay, I agree. The trailer looks terrible. Okay. I agree, Starfire looks terrible, but I also think Beast Boy looks terrible, and I also think that, you know, well, like I said, I'm more also, uh, I'm, I'll let Raven slide a little bit more, um, but I would love to have seen her in her blue skin, I would love to have seen, you know, um, Beast Boy in the green, screen, green skin, I would love to have seen Starfire with the orange skin, okay? And look, and I'm not saying don't hire a black actress to play Starfire. That has nothing to do with it. She's the character's an alien, so literally she can be any race out there. As long as A, you make her hot, and B, you make her orange. Not too fucking hard. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Her skin to stone doesn't matter because she's playing a fucking alien. It doesn't matter. Okay. Whew, sa. Okay, so let me get to the fucking Robin thing, okay? Now, Robin, fighty style looks crazy, looks good. Why is he killing everybody? What's with, what's with all these DC TV shows where they're showing everybody kill everybody? Now, and then you have Robin say, Fuck Batman. Really, dude? Really? How about you stop being a dick, Grayson? Dick Grayson. Stop being a Dick Grayson, all right? All right. See, okay. The, the problem that I have with this trailer is that they're trying so hard to be dark and edgy. And I think that when we're looking at this at, at, at this show, there's nothing, uh, there's nothing wrong with it being dark, and there's nothing wrong with being edgy. But when you're trying too hard, it just doesn't convey naturally. Now, there is – it's no secret – that all the Robins or somebody in the Bat family eventually had 
some bad turmoil with Bruce Wayne or Batman. They all have their issues with him, you know. And a lot of it stems from, like, you know, Jason Todd. You know, after he got killed, he felt hugely responsible. Um, so for, for those of you that don't know, Jason Todd is um, the Red Hood. So, it, it, that's no secret. But for him to say, fuck Batman? Why are you telling a bunch of criminals, fuck Batman? You know? I, I, don't, I don't get that. It just doesn't make sense. You know? It, it's ridiculous. You could have had him say nothing, and it would have been better. Do I have a problem with people saying bad words? No, I don't. Do I have a problem with TV shows being dark? No, I don't. You know, you have all those in the Marvel, in the Marvel uh, Netflix show, like Daredevil and all of them. It's perfectly fine. You know, they do a great job. The whole point is making it, making it, making a good story. And you know what? People are going to talk shit when their characters look like dog shit. Okay, that's that's pretty much what it is. You know, so I'm hoping that Greg Berlanti and Jeff Johns and Akiva Goldsman, uh, if Akiva is, you know, that much involved, if they're just involved with the creative process and they just let everybody run with it, that's a whole different issue, right? But I'm going to assume that Jeff Johns and Greg Berlanti are probably the main holders of this storyline. You know, they really need to take responsibility. They really need to um, fix the, the show. I'm hoping that that is not their typical outfits. But based on the display that they had at um, San Diego Comic-Con, it looks like that is their outfits for the show. Like, that's what they're going to dress like. Um, that's terrible. So, um, I'm still going to check this show out, but... I, I have my reservations on it. Um, they have right now, they're having this thing where like, you can get the streaming service for like, I think it's something like $75 for the year. And if you get, and if you do that, you'll get an extra three months for free. Okay. Um, I'm not going to do that. I, I'm, I'm not going to do that. Um, I wouldn't buy that streaming service for a year because I don't know what I'm going to get. Um, I'd rather pay the nine ninety nine. That'll probably be the the streaming service monthly, and check it out, and you know, make fun of them if they, if it if everything looks like crap. Um, we still haven't seen Doom Patrol, and we haven't seen the Doom Patrol characters, even though they are in the episodes. Uh, at least they're credited through um, IMDb, which I'm assuming they're gonna do kind of like a spin off. It'll spin off from the from the Titans into their own thing, um, which is fine. Um, and hopefully in season two, they'll have a better villain, a more recognizable villain, um, hopefully. And then, of course, you know, uh, Swamp Thing with Swamp Thing. Um, I'm curious. I'm curious. I, I think that's a very difficult character to utilize. Um, but hopefully they're able to pull it off. Okay, guys. Well, look, that's what I got. This is a super long episode. This it should be more like an editorial because... It's not the trailer reaction. It's not just uh, reviewing the trailer. I kind of had to encompass all this stuff because once I started viewing this, I kind of fell into this rabbit hole and started seeing all the, all the news pop up with Anna Diop and, of course, uh, Minka Kelly protecting her. And I was like, why is she protecting her? What's going on? And it was all this racial stuff and all about the, the outfits from before. And, you know, I just kind of had to give my two cents. Uh, but look, guys, tell me what do you guys think, man? Tell me. What is on your mind in the comments down below? Share, discuss, subscribe, and don't forget to spread the word. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.